guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Aaron. I've got with me Brixton and Alora here. Today we're going to be installing drip tape into two of our newly plowed cut flower gardens. Uh, we got the drip tape from Haas Tools. It's really easy to put together. Follow us along. Come check it out. Okay, you guys, if you guys want to go get the drip tape stuff and bring it over into the garden on the other side of Nani's garden. Yeah, he's got it. If you have ever wanted to do drip tape and were intimidate, intimidated, if you have ever wanted to put drip tape in your garden and you thought it was intimidating or expensive, stop thinking that way. It's incredibly easy. Um, Haas Tools has a kit for about 200 bucks that you can put together. Um, really, really simple. It's got everything you need to. You don't have to make the multiple trips to the garden center because you forgot a piece. For us here in California, it's absolutely necessary for us to do drip tape. You know, as you look around our pastures, we are incredibly dry. We do not get any precipitation from May to about October, if we're, you know, traditionally. So drip tape allows us to use our water the right way. It lets us put it in the right place. It reduces weeds, saves lots of water. It's just a really, really effective way to put water exactly where you want it. Drip tape also puts water at the roots and it doesn't splash it up on the leaves. And so with drip tape, with drip irrigation, you don't get a lot of the blights and the funguses and stuff like that. Really, really effective, you know, to keep your crop healthy by getting the water right on the roots and not on the leaves. Okay guys, so this is the basic equipment that comes in the kit. So we've got the filter and the pressure regulator combo. Um, hose is gonna go in here. Whatever your water source is gonna go in on this side. Um, and then the tubing, the irrigation tubing is gonna go on this side. So this we will set up over on that side and then we'll have, that's the main line that will go across that part of the bed. And then we will set up the drip tape along these rows and that's where we will intermittently plant our crops. It comes with these, these are connectors. Uh, you can see the main line connectors, drip tape connectors, just in case there's an oops. This is kind of like the oops box. These are, the pieces, let me get one of these out, that hook the main line to the drip tape. So the drip tape will come off here and we'll show you how that screws on. It's really, really easy. No lie, this is probably going to go up in about 30 minutes to an hour and it will stay for quite a while. So lasts a long time. If you're thinking that this is an expense that you just can't make, um, I think it's the opposite. I think this is an expense you have to make in order to make your life easier, save you time. Um, in the long run, it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money, um, and it'll last for years. So make the investment. Of course, we'll put all of these links below. You can go and compare um and shop other places that you want it's just really nice that haas tools gives you everything you need in the kit we bought two of these kits uh one for this flower garden and then we've got another one uh for the north side which we'll do later this evening so like i said super easy i'm gonna put it together with my two kids right here the other kids are away rachel is away and we're gonna get this all done before she gets back. So here's the pressure regulator. Um, hose goes on this side. You're gonna take your main line. You're gonna make sure you unscrew this all the way. Kinda jam that on there real good. And then you're gonna twist that on. That's gonna lock it right there. Um, and that's it. I'm going to keep this on this side of the fence and we're going to string this out. We've got some of this mainline tubing from the last one. I didn't even open the one we got in the box, so I'll save that for next time. 
and then in the future um, I won't have to order that piece of the kit if I don't want to. I can order each one individually from Haas Tools or get them individually from uh, the garden center. So pretty cool. So once your main line is laid out, you're going to put this on the end. It's going to kink the end so water doesn't go at the other end. And then we can start laying out the drip tape along those rows. Okay, grab that and bring it all the way to the other side so we can measure how long we got to make it. The, the good thing is if I want to extend this drip down this way for trees or something like that, I do have the connectors that I can connect there and make it one continuous tube again. No worries. The really, really great thing about this place we chose for the flowers is it gets sun all day long. It's about 9.30 a.m. Um, and there's just this little bit of shade. Um, it'll get sun almost until nightfall it's this is a really really good spot it's protected from the animals it gets all the sun it needs now we just need to get all the water that it needs okay here's the drip tape it is almost a thousand five hundred feet this should more than enough cover all the rows that we've got here in the garden um, i'm gonna be on one side alora is gonna run it up and down Brixton's gonna cut it and then we'll show you how we connect it. Super simple. I got the turkeys right behind me, but as you can see, there is the slit where the drips will come out. It's on the side of the green stripes here. So a couple things you want to be aware of. If you are going to bury this tape, holes need to be up. If you're going to leave the tape open to air, holes or slits need to be down. So we are going to bury these. So we're gonna leave these up and we're just laying them all the way down with the help of my two little dudes. So I'm gonna cut in between those slits. So this is gonna be the end of my bed. This is one of the end pieces. Um, there's a big side and a small side. You are gonna put this in the small side first. You're gonna fold it over a couple times here. And then once that's there, you're gonna put that fold in the end, pull it tight, and that's gonna crimp it off so it doesn't leak on the side. That row's done. Okay, we're over on the mainline side. Brixton's gonna show you how he's putting in these mainline couplings. And so we'll pick a spot in the middle of the row, make a hole on the side. Go ahead, bud. Okay, pop. And then we'll put one of the pieces in. Make the pop, there we go. And then go ahead and attach that. Then you turn that a little bit there. And that makes it, that makes sure it's secure. Now lay flat. I'll pull the other side, bud. So uh, a note here, make sure you're not poking holes on the top here, because then when you lay the line, it'll kind of torque on that entrance and it has a more propensity to leak. So I um, found that out the hard way. So learn from my mistakes, okay? <laughs> uh, so let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven done. 
and we've got about 11 more to go so we'll bust this out real quick and then we'll go inside because it is getting hot Brixton's got his one little spot of shade that he's going to get here. <laughs> he's going to go back into the sun. Okay, ready? So really simple, you guys. I'm just standing on this side holding the reel, and they're doing most of the work. So. Okay, guys, check it out. We are all done. It is getting really, really hot outside. We do have a little bit of a breeze, but that only helps so much. So we're gonna go inside later today. We'll finish up the other pasture with the drip tape. And then of course, we're gonna put these things to the test to make sure that they are dripping in the right places. Okay, so <clears throat> put down the other drip. Uh, system in the north garden bed went pretty quick as long as there's lots of hands it's not too bad now all I've got to do is put water to it and make sure that it works we don't want leaking in places that we don't want leaking if that makes sense so grabbing this hose we have like the jinkiest irrigation system ever uh, you're gonna see what it looks like but I've got this yellow hose here that we're not really using here in the front yard so I'm going to take that with me over there we're going to hook it up and turn on the water cross our fingers and see if this works for us I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these hoses but these are like uh, tractor supply hoses and they're really nice because it's got like a, a cloth guard on the outside so they don't puncture very easy but they're really weird because it takes this pressure different than any other hose that I've ever used in my life. So uh, it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but like this is going to be out in the field where the animals are going to be stepping on it. So I don't want like a hoof to kind of crack it. And so this is going to be our only option, but a good option. We're gonna we just line it up through here. They're just gonna hand me the little. This? No, uh, pull the whole thing out of there. And then just kind of lay right. Nope, nope, nope. We're just right through here. It's fine. Nope, nope. Right through oh, here. Oh, nope. right through yeah, right there. That's okay. it. I'll just let it hang out like that. Okay, that's all hooked up. Uh, let's turn on this baby and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we just finished the inspection. Uh, looks like it's dripping fine. We had to go back and tighten the, where it connects to the main line, but it, it's working fantastic. Lots of work the last couple of days setting this stuff up. The hard work's not all done though. Now we've got to put seeds in the ground. We're gonna put flowers and pumpkins and corn and all that stuff. So the next few days are gonna be filled with us planting seeds. Ready for that? Yes. <laughs> Were you going to salute to me? <laughs> I was doing this. <laughs> oh, okay. That... Hey guys, if this is your first time being here, thank you for joining us. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you are notified every time we have another video. Thank you for being part of our channel. We'll see you next time.